How's it going everybody? I'm Driftwood. We're going to do the class spotlight on the White Mage and how to put a Final Fantasy XI job into your MV project. So this is going to be a huge one. Hopefully you guys are ready for it. So let's take a look at the White Mage. She basically uh, has a bunch of healing magic. Um, she can use flails and stabs. She's not very good with melee attacks. Um, she misses quite often. But her strength is going to lie in her abilities. She's got two different types of magic. She's or er, abil she's got abilities and magic. So let's take a look at her magic. She's got several abilities. Um, if you played Final Fantasy XI, you know all the abilities she's got. But she can like restore, cure almost every status effect. She can cure the party. She can um, you know cast spells that reduce damage from certain types. She can increase defense and magic defense. But actually, instead of doing it like that, because it could affect your other stats, I've made it to where you do magic damage taken minus for shell and, ma and physical damage taken for protect. You uh, could add regen, add haste, stone skin, which I'm using um, absorption barrier, manfly. Um, Dia is a damage over time, but also reduces uh, or increases the damage that your target's taking. Banish is going to deal like uh, light damage, radiant damage is what I'm calling it. She's got moves that can blind your target. She's got all kinds of different abilities, and we'll just do a few of them here so you can get a, a kind of handle on, on the class itself. We'll take a look at the abilities, actually. That So those are all the, the spells. But in the White Mage's abilities, which are basically they work on cooldowns, Benediction is going to restore all of your HP and cure all negative status effects for the whole party, and that'll be costless, but it take 30 turns to to restore to, to be able to use it again. Divine Seal is going to double the healing that the party receives for three turns so um, if you were to get you know cured it would double that. Um, you can spend half of your um, spend half of your HP to heal all the allies MP by 20%. I don't think this applies to the, um, the White Mage itself um, so the White Mage is not really your soloist but she's great in a party Martyr is another ability that's going to spend half of your HP to heal all of uh, the parties for 50%. But we're going to need to actually do some curing magic before we can do that again. So let's just throw out a Kiraga. There we go. Cure three. So as a, a white mage by yourself, you're not going to deal a ton of damage. But if you're in a party, the white mage is going to save your party quite often. So it's, a, it's definitely a good class that you want to have in your group. Especially in a, in a game like this where you have up to six party members. Got paralyzed there. Blink. So what we're going to do now is jump into the database and go over the massive amount of things that the White Mage uh, has and basically all their damage formulas and everything. So we'll just kill this guy. Boom. Alright. So let's jump into the database real quick. <clears throat> Taking a look at the class itself. Um, I've set the experience curve to all my classes to 15 across the board so they level up fast since it's your character is basically going to get um, skills all the way up to level 99. Um, you can see all of the skills and abilities that the White Mage actually has. We're going to go through them all but kind of quickly. So um, we'll come back at the end to look at the, the levels that everything's being awarded. Let's look at the traits. So the White Mage has Preserve TP. They all have Preserve TP in my game so that's optional if you're using Enhanced TP plugin. You can just toggle that there instead of flagging it on each uh, class. Um, target rate, 90%, which means you're not going to get t as, uh, targeted as much as the other jobs. Like the warrior will have 110%. So it's a slight modification. doesn't really need to be changed, but if you want to change it, you can. Hit rate, like I said, the, the white mage isn't very good with melee weapons and attacking too much. So only a 78% chance to hit. However, because I'm using another plugin that it adds uh, hit rate based on weapon skill, um, as you use your weapon, flail or staff, um, you'll be able to get up to 20% more accuracy. So if you max out your weapon, you're still going to have a 98% chance to hit after a while. So that, that is that. Um, evasion rate 4%, critical rate 4%. <clears throat> I'm letting the white mage use flail and staff. 
Um, the white mage for armors can use a small shield, um, general armor, light armor, mage armor, uh, limit burst. All classes are going to get limit burst, and this class is going to get white magic for their, their spells and a white mage ability for their types. The white mage is slightly resistant to silence and cursed and has a small HP and MP regen. I've added regen to all of the classes, so if you've seen other class spotlights, you may not have seen that on Monk, I've got regeneration for HP and TP. Warrior, I've got regeneration for HP and TP as well. But for the White Mage, since they don't um, need TP as much as they need MP, we've replaced that to 3% HP per turn and 2% MP per turn. Okay, so I'm using a lot of Yanfly plugins. I'm using um, uh, the parameters one. So I'm using custom class parameters to, to determine uh, max HP, uh, basically all the stats. And here's are all the stats right here. So starting off, you've got 220 max HP, you've got um, 82 um, max MP, and every turn, every level, you'll get 32 MP and 120 HP. Um, very low attack, very low defense, um, slightly above average magic attack, really, really great magic defense, as a lot of the healing spells, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of your healing magic is going to be based on your magic defense. Agility is average, luck is average. And all of these stats are balanced with uh, between all the classes because they all add up to the same amount, um, give or take a little bit of HP, you know, or MP. And this this is usually made up for by skills that will restore for you. Um, letting the the player, letting the white mage learn these certain skills, which we're going to go into. Basically, these are the skills that are going to let you up your stats and stuff. Um, as for um, what they can equip, I'm using another Yanfly plugin to allow. Um, the equip core here to let me equip only what uh, I want them to have equipped. So weapon shield, limit burst, head, earring, neck, back, chest, waist, hands, ring, legs, feet, and a relic. And um, also giving an icon for when we do the job change, class change system. Oh, okay. So we're going to come back to this. But first what we're going to do is jump over to skills and start looking at the abilities. So you saw how many abilities that the White Mage has. We're going to try to go through this quickly. Benediction is a pretty simple skill to make. It's going to restore HP to everybody. So it's going to be all allies. With sweating. We're setting all four of these in the White Mage ability category. Um, if you don't already have that um, in your types, you're going to need something for White Magic and something for White Mage ability. Um, you can see the equipment types I have here. The weapon types, this is pretty much all standard. I've added a bunch of equipment types. And the elements, um, you're going to need a healing element. And uh, you probably already have light. I've just renamed it to radiant. So basically, radiant and healing are the two elements that I'm specifically using. Like, I'm not using radiant for healing spells because I want some things to be resistant to light damage. So it would, they would also be resistant to the healing received. So putting all the healing uh, abilities in its own category will stop them from being resistant against it. And turning like a, a buff into a debuff, essentially. So, which we don't want that. So um, basically, Benediction. Every state that you have in your game that's going to like be detrimental, like blind or poison or silence or confusion or any of that, go ahead and add remove state for, um, you know, add in a remove state for all of those negative effects. And then um, also do recover HP 100% for all allies. That'll make it so if uh, no matter what, um, everybody in your, in your party has got all their negative states wiped off them and they're fully healed. But the downside is we're using um, Yanfly's plugins to add a cooldown. So we're doing 30 turns cooldown. Also, all of these abilities are instant. So you use them, they don't consume your turn, but they're put on a cooldown. Divine, uh, Divine Seal is basically cooldown 10 instant. It's going to double the, the healing that the party receives. So we're going to add a state of Divine Seal. And that state is basically just um, increasing healing received by 200%. So scroll down until we find it. Warrior, Monk, Red Mage, Thief, Paladin, Dark Knight. Did I make the one for the White Mage? I'm pretty sure I did. Somewhere in here. There's always got to be something to throw everything off. Diaz, I probably put it towards the top. 
trying to stay organized in your project is something that's going to help you a lot. So I can just edit here and see we're at 273. Okay, 273. Oh my god, I need more coffee. 273 is right here. Okay, so Divine Seal, for some reason, I have it under Monk because that's probably the only state that I'm using. So a uh, simple um, recovery effect, 200%, just like I said, SP parameter, Divine Seal, that's it. Uh, three turns. You could uh, increase that to five if you want. Um, it's up to you. Um, the next skill is Devotion, spending half of your HP to heal all allies uh, MP by 25%. So we're doing an HP cost 50% here. So we're going to actually spend half of our HP, um, our max HP. Um, this is different from how it works in 11 actually. <clears throat> in 11 it depends on how much you have left I believe. Um, but this is just a set easy way to do it. Recover everybody's all allies uh, MP by 25% and we're spending... 50% of our HP to do that but we're setting a special command here target all allies but the user we're setting a 15 turn cooldown and that's an instant effect all of these abilities are going to be occasion battle screen only I've also given custom animations to most of them <clears throat> looking at the martyr same things going on except instead of 25% MP it's 50% HP uh, and the thing is you may think, oh, well, if you're going to restore 50% HP to everybody, well, then what's the point of making it cost 50%? That's what this next tag is for. Um, target all allies but user. Specialized tag that basically doesn't let this affect the user. So we're spending 50% of our HP, and we're giving 50% of uh, max HP to everybody else, um, except we are losing that 50% HP. Cooldown 15, instant ability, all allies. That's it for the, the White Mage abilities. But now we're going to look at the White Mage skills. So mainly I'm going to go through this to show you the cost that I'm using um, and the damage formula. So Cure, all of the healing, like I said, it has its own element healing. So we're going to restore a little bit of HP to one ally. 8 MP cost and the damage formula for the first Cure is 200 plus the level times 2 plus magic defense. Can critical, 20% variance. And also all of my Cures are also going to remove the sleep state because I think that's kind of a, a interesting thing that... That's how it works in Final Fantasy XI. If you're asleep and you get cured, even if you're at max HP, it removes your sleep. So I've decided to do that same thing. Poisona removes poison. Cooldown to 3. This one is not an instant. Um, like I said, the instants are mainly just the abilities, not the spells. Paralyze removes Paralyze. You know, Paralina. Poisona and Paralina. And if you want to call uh, the state in the, the description, slash IT, and then the number of the state, and it'll reference it right in there. And you can see the cost, 8 for the Poisona, 12 for the um, Paralina. <clears throat> All of these are basically going to be uh, one ally battle screen, um, except for the Aga ones, which are going to be all allies. Remove state, um, this is cooldown of 3. <clears throat> Cure 2 is going to cost 24 MP. And you can see that these are getting uh, more powerful as they get uh, towards the higher rank as they should. Um, removing uh, sleep from it. 300 plus level times 4 plus magic defense times 2. <clears throat> and cooldown to 3. Uh, Blindna just removes blind. Cooldown to 3. 16 MP. Kiraga, this is going to be just like the cure 1, the regular cure, but for all allies. Costs 60 MP. You can see it costs a lot more, so it's not worth using Aga unless you really need to use it for the whole party. <clears throat> um, 100 plus level times 2 plus magic defense. It's actually, yeah, it's the same. It's the same. No, no. It's almost the same. The base damage on it goes up by a little bit. But that's okay. Silena just removes silence. Cooldown to 3. 16 MP. Cure 3. 400 plus level times 6 plus magic defense times 3. Cures uh, removes sleep. Cost 46 MP, cooldown to 5. And as we're going down to the bigger skills, we're adding cooldowns. They're optional, but I recommend doing that because it's going to make it so that you can't rely on the same ability every turn. And you'll have to, you have so many abilities, you might as well put some cooldowns on them so that the, they can't be overused and you'll make use of, uh, of all of them. Raise is going to remove knockout and recover 10% HP for one uh, ally dead. This has to be the special scope right here of one ally dead. Uh, 75 MP. Cooldown of 5, and moving on to Kursna, it's going to remove the curse state if you have it, 30 MP, um, cooldown of 3. Kiraga 2, just like Kiraga, except it's got a bigger damage formula and more cost and a higher cooldown, so 200 plus level times 4 plus magic defense times 2. Hexna removes Hex, 
uh, cooldown of 3, 30 MP. Stona removes Petrified, 40 MP cost, cooldown of 3. Cure 4, it's got a new damage formula, 500 plus level times 8, plus magic defense times 4, remove sleep, 7 cooldown, 88 MP cost. Kuraga 3, uh, 300 plus level times 6, plus magic defense times 3, 180 MP, you can see they're getting bigger in the cost here. Remove sleep, 7 turn cooldown, raise 2, oop, I messed that up, there we go. Raise 2 is a 1 ally, raise um, 150 MP. It recovers, uh, removes knockout and recovers 50% HP with a cooldown of 10. Um, cure 4, or Cure 5, rather. 600 plus level times 10 plus magic defense times 5, removes sleep. All of these have uh, can critical and 20% variance, but that's up to you how you want to put it in your game. Uh, cooldown of 10, 135 MP cost on that. Raise 3, we're going 300 MP. It removes knockout and fully restores HP. Cooldown of 15 turns. It's a big costing spell right there, but um, it's very powerful. <clears throat> Kuraga 4, 400 plus level times 8 plus magic defense times 4, removes sleep, 10 turn cooldown, 260 MP cost, cure 6, 190 cost, uh, 11 turn cooldown, 750 plus uh, level times 12 plus magic defense times 6, removes sleep, 190 MP cost, Kuraga 5, 350 MP cost, 12 turn cooldown, removes sleep, 500 plus level times 10 plus magic defense times 5, um, Kuraga 6, uh, 440 MP cost, 600 plus level times 12 plus magic defense times 6, removes sleeps, uh, and a cooldown of 10. Um, Bar Stonera, so this is where we're adding another state that's going to reduce the damage you take from all earth type elements. So this is another thing where we're going to add, um, a, a, add a state. So this is going to cost 12 MP, not very much of a cost. Um, Certain hit on this one, magic is going to be uh, for all allies. Uh, Bar Stone is a single target, but Bar Stonera is an uh, all, all party target. So we're going to add Bar Stone, um, cooldown of 5. Let's look at that state if you're not sure how to make that. So Bar Stone, I think I made for the Red Mage somewhere. I could also just look at it right here and see the number. That's a good way to go about it. 161, jumping to 161. Here we go. So to do Barstonera, which basically you don't need to make Barstone and Barstonera state. You can make two skills, one for Barstone that's a single target and one Barstonera that's an all allies target. But the difference is um, you only need to make Barstone as a state because you're just going to add Barstone to everybody when you cast Barstonera, right? So only one Barstone is necessary for Red Mage and White Mage. Um, so how you do this is five turns, so it's up to you really, and you do an element rate, and you just do earth times 50%, that's going to reduce the damage you take from earth attacks by 50%. Simple way to go about it. And the same thing is for all of them. Bar water is going to hit all allies um, with the bar, bar water state, a five turn cooldown, 12 MP cost. They all do the same thing for bar arrow, bar fyra, bar blizzra, bar blizzara, bar thundara. And, you know, you can just add a bar spell for every state you have in your game. And that's basically how it works. 12 MP cost, 5 cooldown, add the state. And you can give it a custom animation if you want. The more custom animations you add, the better, basically. So, Protect. Um, this is a... Uh, I, ch I changed this one up a little bit. I used to just increase defense, but some uh, skills and abilities, especially for Blue Mage, are going to get uh, damage modifiers based on their stats. So adding Protect Crit didn't feel like it should actually increase the damage from certain skills. So I changed it to work uh, with physical defense... Uh, take uh, Physical damage taken. So um, Protect, each rank will add 10% more physical damage taken uh, uh, removed. And we're going to have to look at that state because it's kind of interesting how I put it together. So this is going to be one ally uh, for Protect, but for this is the Red Mage version. Um, these are all for Red Mage. Now for the White Mage, can get both, but I just made it so since the White Mage already has a ton of skills, I've made that the uh, the White Mage just gets Protect Ra. Now in Final Fantasy XI, they get Protect and Protect Ra, but I've made uh, it, the Red Mage get Protect and the White Mage get Protect Ra. The difference is the Rug is targets all allies, so we're just going to look at those. <coughs> so Protect Ra is going to cost 9 MP, 5 cooldown, and adds Protect. We're going to add a state for each Protect uh, rank. So decrease physical damage taken, we're going to look at those in a second, but I want to show you the MP cost on each of them. Protect 2, 28 8 cooldown, Protector 3, 46 MP, 10 cooldown, Protector 4, 65 MP, 
12 cooldown and protector 5 96 mp and 15 cooldown so let's look at the states here so we'll go here and look at 171 so protect right here same thing applies with the rust spells <clears throat> you don't need a state for any rust spell because you just make the single target state and then just make the skill target all allies and it'll add that state on all of them right so you don't need protect rust state you just need a protect state so how this works is <clears throat> the first one's pretty straightforward you probably figured this one out uh, you make an SP parameter and basically you just say physical damage taken and you multiply it by 90 percent that's going to reduce 10 percent of the damage from physical things but you don't want these to stack up so when you add protect 2 you're going to do physical damage taken times 80 percent but state resist protect that means if you have protect on and then you get protect 2 cast on you it's going to remove protect and it's just going to give you protect 2 and the same thing applies for each next rank so protect 3 is going to uh, state resist protect and protect 2 and reduce physical damage by 70% giving you 30% reduction that means if you have protect 3 on and someone casts protect 2 on you well it doesn't do anything it just whiffs but if you get if you have protect 3 on and then they cast protect 4 on you it's going to remove protect 1 2 and 3 and replace it with protect 4 and it's going to give you physical damage times 60% reducing it by 40% and then finally protect 5 which is going to give you uh, resistance to all the other states <clears throat> so that they don't stack and reduce the damage by half from physical attacks. Another thing to point out is I made, made Protect and Shell last a long time. 15 turns is a long time. It used to be 30 um, because it actually lasts 30 minutes in the game when you cast it. Um, so you might change this to 30 if you want. I think 15 is plenty of, of, uh, of time for its cost. So 15 turn, nice long cast on that. Okay, and moving down, these are the same things, but the single target for the red mage. But I've also given them to the white mage for some reason, which uh, I'll probably change that to where only the red mage gets them. And then the same thing applies for shell, except instead of physical damage, it's magical damage. So we can kind of rush through this a little bit more since we just went through how it works. I'll go through the MP cost of all the shells. So 18 for the first rank, 37 for the second rank with the 8 cooldown, 56 for the third rank with the 10 cooldown, uh, 86 MP for the 4th rank with a 12 cooldown, 124 MP cost on shell 5 with the 15 cooldown. And then if you want to basically do the shell ra, um, I know we skipped over protect because th the same thing is going to apply. Um, I'll probably change this so that only red mage has the single target and the white mage gets the, the multi-target ones. Just because they have so many spill, scale, uh, spills, spells and abilities. Blah, 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 blah. So shell ra is uh, for all allies. And we've got 30 MP cost, 5 cooldown, 37 for the uh, tier 2, 8 cooldown, 56 for the tier 3 with a 10 cooldown, lots of stuff guys. 86 MP for the 4th rank and 12 cooldown, and 124 MP cost with the 15 cooldown for Shell row 5. Okay, so we'll look at Shell row real quick because it's the same thing, we don't really need to go through the whole thing. We just make the single target and it takes uh, 15 turns. We make each uh, rank sub uh, subsequently re uh, resist the following one be below it. So uh, Shell 3 is going to resist 2, uh, 1 and 2, and, and 4 is going to... Oh, I forgot to change this one, didn't I? It's a good thing I caught this. Okay, so we're going to change this, see how it used to be magic defense, which you could do it that way in your game too. But what I'm going to do is do magic damage taken <clears throat> times 90%. Shell 2 is going to be magic damage taken times 80%. Shell 3 is going to be magic damage taken. Seventy percent, and resisting those two, shell four is going to be sixty percent. Sorry about this. It's so many things. It's so many things to to go over. Fifty percent on that. <clears throat> it's not a simple class. It's definitely a lot of complexity to the class. So let's go ahead and jump back into our our abilities. So blink is a cool state. <clears throat> It's going to add 50% evasion and 50% magic evasion for 5 rounds, 5 uh, cooldown, 20 MP cost, but only on the user. So this is a spell that you can't target your allies with. This is just going to be um, self-cast. So that's state 37. Um, you can pretty much figure out how to do that, but I'll just go over it very fast. 
Um, XP parameters, evasion rate plus 50%, because we're not multiplying, right? We're adding a positive number, so you don't do 150, you just do plus 50%, uh, magic evasion plus 50%. Regen, pretty simple state. Uh, three cooldown, 15 um, MP cost, one ally. Regen is um, basically just going to add HP every turn. So that's state 177. And I'm pretty sure you know how to do most of this, but just for those who don't, um, you do XP parameter, HP regeneration plus 2%. <clears throat> haste is going to add speed or in my that's agility in my game I renamed it to speed so 30% buff that's all all it really does you could even make this do a simple add buff agility if you want to do it that way um, I've added a state for it 40 MP cost and a 5 cooldown on it so that it adds a state and the state is just changing a parameter by 30% that's state 14 let's look at that state real quick so this is going to add um, 30 attack speed, optional. It's going to make your you go first. Um, if you're using ATB, you can use these codes. If you're using CTB, you're using these codes. But those combat systems are not supported officially anymore. So you might want to just work on default battle system until a better version comes out. Um, agility times 130% will give you a 30% bonus five turn for that haste. Stone skin, we're using um, Yanfly's Absorption Barrier plugin. <clears throat> so, adds a barrier that um, re reduces thir 300 damage for 10 rounds, th uh, 29 MP cost, um, a custom animation. This is what the code you're going to be using. User barrier 10 turns plus 300, the cooldown of 3. You can change that number around to work to be whatever you want. This is just going to give you 300 um, uh, damage resistance on top of your max. Regen 2, same as Regen, except this time... Um, your, um, it's going to cost 36 MP, a cooldown of 5, and it's going to restore 4% max HP every 5 turns. But I also want to point out with Regen 2, which is state 180, um, you're doing the same thing that you're doing with Protect and Shell. With all of these tiered, you see how we're doing a state resist for Regen. So Regen and Regen 2 do not stack. If you have Regen and someone casts Regen 2 on you, well, it removes Regen 1 and overwrites it with Regen 2. If you have Regen 2 and someone casts Regen 1 on you, Regen 1 does nothing because you're resistant to it, so that whiffs. And see, that's how you can have multiple states of the same thing without them all stacking up. You just make one uh, resist the other. So we'll look at Refresh 2, does the same thing, um, regain every rank of uh, Refresh and Regen, they all work the same. So if we look at Regen 5, it's got resist regen one two three four right so and it gives you the most uh benefit but they don't stack at all so that's how you get around them stacking and they're all five turns regen three same thing 78 percent uh, 78 mp cost uh, seven cool down dia we're going to move into some damaging spells now so now we're going to add radiant damage or light damage it's going to be a dot mat times two plus your magic defense uh, can critical 20% variance 7 MP cost uh, multiple elements here if you're using element core you can add multiple elements if you wanted to do like uh, enhancing damage or whatever so we're adding a state of Dia Dia is going to reduce the uh, magic defense of your of your target so that is state number 89 Dia is here Reduce defense uh, by multiplying it by ten, uh, multiplying it by 90%, which will reduce it about 10%. <laughs> We're also making it where if you have Dia in in Final Fantasy 11, if you cast Dia on somebody, um, then um, it'll erase Bio. You know, so you have Bio and Dia. One is like a the dark side and one is the light side, and they counter each other. So if they have Bio cast on them, and then you cast Dia, it erases Bio and replaces it with Dia. So you do the same thing with that. So Dia 2 will not only overwrite Dia 1, but it will overwrite Bio in Bio 2. And it will work the opposite way too. So if you have Dia 3 on them, and you cast Bio 3, well that would actually whiff. So maybe we should remove the third from those. But the reason why I'm leaving it that way, um, because then they'll be able to stack at some point if you do the max. So I'm not going to, um, basically if you cast Dia 3 on them, they have to wear off Dia 3 before you can throw a Bio 3. But if you put Bio 3 on them, you can't cast Dia 3 until it wears off. So that's different to how it works in Final Fantasy XI, but it's essentially the same thing. Um, except for the max rank doesn't overwrite as it should. Um, also for these skills, um, I'm doing a special um, damage over time, which it's going to be, um, I've already gone over this before, and 
the reason why I'm not going to go over it right now is because pretty soon we're getting a new plugin that's going to simplify damage over time. So look forward to <clears throat> either Tigris, um, one of the new uh, Tigris and Chicky. One of, either Tigris or Chicky. I forgot which one. I think it's Tigris who's doing uh, the damage over time one. Um, it's going to simplify this whole process. So don't even worry about this. By the time uh, you know the, you have all of this stuff made, this the next plugin will probably be out. But if you dig, you'll be able to find this code. I've gone over it, I think, a couple times already um, for all the DOTs. So moving on to Paralyze, just going to add a state. 60% chance to paralyze your target. Cooldown of 5, 6 MP cost. That's it. Banish is going to deal radiant damage. 5 cooldown, 10 MP cost. A.MAT times 3 plus A.Magic uh, Defense times 3. 20% variance, uh, yes, can critical. Slow is going to basically add a state of slow, the opposite of haste, okay? So uh, reduce agility. 60% uh, chance. Basically, it's all it is. Uh, silence is going to add silence, which is going to stop. Uh, if you don't already have silence, because sometimes it doesn't actually do it. Um, it doesn't add it from uh, the default project anymore. You just do a seal skill type. This is how you make silence. You go to skill type and you go seal skill. And then what what uh, skills do you want silence to, to stop from using? So... You just seal skill type magic, white magic, black magic, all of your, your casting abilities that you think when you're silenced you shouldn't be able to use, just seal them right there. And for however many turns, three to five, there's what I did. And that's how you do silence. 16 MP cost, five cooldown. Banishka, the same thing as banish, exactly, except costs more MP and it, it's scope of all enemies, five cooldown. Diaga, same thing as Dia, but except uh, all enemies right there. Um, and... Uh, more MP cost. Banish 2, uh, higher version of Banish, A.MAT times 6 plus Magic Defense plus times 6, Radiant Damage, can Critical, 57 MP cost, 5 cooldown. Dia 2, the next rank, adds Dia 2 state, which we already looked at, A.MAT times 3 plus Magic Defense times 2, uh, 30 MP cost, uh, multiple elements, it'll be different for you. I'm just using uh, Enhancing Damage and, and uh, or no, Enfeebling Damage and Radiant Damage. Um, 3 cooldown on that. Banish go 2, same as Banish 2, but with all allies, or all enemies, rather. 120 MP cost, and why do I have 2 cooldowns? I don't know, it's probably 7 cooldown. And then Flash, actually that would be, be 5. Um, flash is going to have an 80% chance to blind your target. So you just add state, uh, 1 enemy, blind, 80% chance, 5 cooldown, 25 MP cost. Repose, 60% chance to put your target to sleep. Uh, 26 MP cost, 8 cooldown, banish 3, the next level of the uh, damage right there, A dot magic attack times 9 plus A uh, dot magic defense times 9, can critical, 20% variance, 8 uh, cooldown, 96 MP cost, and finally holy, which is going to be the one skill that the, uh, if you're using uh, damage core, um, this, this spell will break the damage cap. So if you want to include that, you can. <clears throat> you could also make items that do this, but even without the item, I'm going to let Holy break the damage cap. Since it costs uh, 100 MP and it's just a single target, um, 500 plus magic attack times 12 plus magic defense times 12, radiant damage, and it's got a 12 turn cooldown and it can break the damage cap up to 100,000 damage. Holy hell, lots of skills, right? Lots of stuff going on there with the white mage. The Black Mage is equally big and huge, and that'll be in a week or two or something. We'll check out the Black Mage and all of its glory. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. We need to go over this one last thing. What level do you get all these skills at? Well, let's look at it. Your abilities for um, the White Mage ability is level 1 Benediction is your, your biggest, you know, most powerful spell that's got the biggest cooldown. Level 1, you start with that. Fully heal everybody, remove all negative states. Uh, Divine Seal at 15. Devotion at 50, and Martyr at 75. Now, most of these are exactly how they are in Final Fantasy XI, but I've changed a few of them to fit, round it out a little bit, because in Final Fantasy XI, I don't need to go into the whole lore of it, but and why, but 75 was a level cap for a long time, so a lot of skills got crunched into level 75, and then it felt like from 76 to 99, it was just like randomly thrown, like they didn't care anymore. So I've sort of taken some of those skills that, that were level 75 on some jobs, spaced them out to from 76 to 99 more balanced so you don't have 10 skills at level 75 and then one skill at like 86 and that's it you know space to those higher level skills out so cure at level one poisona at six paralina at nine cure two at 11 blindna at 14 curaga at 16 cure three at 21 raise at 25 stone skin at 28 kursna at 29 curaga at 31 hexna at 34 stona at 39 cure four at 41 Cura Aga 3 at 51, 
Raise 2 at 56, Kira 5 at 61, Raise 3 at 70, Kiraga 4 at 71, Cure 6 at 81, Kiraga 5 at 91, Kiraga 6 at 99. Um, I think I've added that one myself. I don't think that one's even in the game. Maybe it is. Barstonra at 5, Protectra at 7, uh, Barwater. Bar, Bar Watera at 9, Bar Era at 13, Shellra at 17, Bar Fyra at 17, Blink at 19, Bar Blizzara at 21, Regen at 21, Bar Thundara at 25, Protectra 2 at 27, Shellra 2 at 37, Haste at 40, Regen 2 at 44, Protectra 3 at 47, Shellra 3 at 57. Regen 3 at 66, Protectra 4 at 67, Shellra 4 at 77, Protectra 5 at 87, Shellra 5 at 97. Moving on to the enfeebling types of magic. Dia at level 3, Paralyze at level 4, Banish at level 5, Slow at level 13, Silence at level 15, Banishga at 15, Diaga at 18, Banish 2 at 30, Dia 2 at 36, Banishga 2 at 40, Flash at 45, Repose at 48, Banish 3 at 50, and Holy at level 65. So, that's pretty much it, guys. It only took 36 minutes to go over everything. <laughs> it took me 8 hours, maybe, to make the whole White Mage. Maybe longer than that, I don't even know. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the Final Fantasy XI White Mage with a few minor tweaks and variations to make it work inside MV. Whew, hopefully you guys like this tutorial. A little bit long but I think it's an awesome class and it's very like versatile and it can it's definitely a good uh, a good job to have a good class to have in your party if you have more than one or two people right so um, did you guys like this tutorial if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're new here I have lots of RPG Maker MV tutorials I have Game Maker Studio 2 tutorials more coming out um, weekly tutorials maybe two a week uh, first impressions multiple times a week and uh, yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments below if you have special requests. I'll do that. Uh, support me on Patreon to get more videos out. And uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.